All right, time for a six game. I will be playing against a Viego here, which is okay. That's not really an issue for me, honestly. Isolation damage generally tends to give me an upper hand in this matchup. Oh, spicy invade. Interesting. Unfortunate. First block goes to the AD carry as well. Gonna recall. Uh, I should be able to get this recall off, no problem. Okay, well. Hope this uh, guy helps me out. I have an interesting bot lane combo. Uh, I mean, they are both like some type of team tag name, so they're probably duo Q. We'll see how that plays out here. On Ka, I'll be going to start blue here, and I will just full clear down. Blue start on Ka is the best way to go because of the isolation damage on blue Grump and then the easier time killing wolves. Your clear speed's overall pretty bad, so this definitely helps you for an overall full clear speed. So pretty much always start blue on Ka, what I would recommend. And uh, yeah. Also, I mean, it's really nice to get a leash from Mundo with Cleavers, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty uh, solid uh, situation to be in. Now, I'll be showing you a Bruiser car build today. I've done the Assassin version more lately. But I'm just gonna show you a very consistent way of playing car for ELO. Like, just stick to the rules. I'm doing this video, basically, and you will be able to get pretty far with this champion overall. It's something to uh, keep in mind, you know. Okay, I'm not going to clear towards top, I'm going to clear towards bot here again for the blue start, but also, I mean, in this situation specifically, I would do the same thing no matter what champion I am, because the Muno is going to get pushed on the turret most likely anyway, and I know for a fact that like Leona and stuff, Leona Soraka is going to be quite a battle heavy lane, I would imagine. They're going to get pushed in because they don't really have a good wave clear, so it's going to be very easy gank opportunities for the most part. So yeah. Leap over here, auto attack all the small ones one time with a Q or a auto attack. It just need to, it needs to be one hit and then you kind of walk the small wings for a bit here. So your next W just kills like that. And then one hit, good. Still we're focusing on the full clear, we're not doing anything but full clearing. Full clearing is crucial on Ka. You need your experience, do not try anything stupid in the early game and try for an early gank. Because that could hurt you a lot and that is not what you want. Also, another thing, 60% of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing, checking if you're subscribed, and uh, yeah. W, uh, focus the small one down initially. That'll die to burn damage, and then you can get like a nice Q smite to basically kill the big one in one go. Ooh, bot lane with the spicy fights. Ah. Uh, I'm so close to a level up, man. This should be free cleanup. Yup. I'm gonna have to push out this wave here. I'm sticking to the rule. I'm, I'm not moving. Like, in that situation, I probably could have moved and skipped out on the level up or something, but... I'm just gonna stick to the rule I set and not moving apart from a full clear, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna insta run mid here. What I can just do is do this. I will smite this, Q it once, auto attack, it dies, and then we can just move mid right away. The guy has no mana. I don't know if he has flash or not, but he has no mana, so he could just easily die here. He does have flash. That's okay. I don't think I die for this. Yeah, we're fine. I wasn't concerned there really because she just didn't have the mana to deal with me. So there's nothing to really worry about. In that situation, I can easily get in range. I'm hitting this plant first to see if I can spot a Teemo coming for me. Otherwise, I could just finish off this. Mundo did die to Teemo. I mean, we're looking good. Pretty easy cleanups. Noticing mana pools is very crucial. It's unfortunate that she did still have her flash there, but my Talia still had her flash, so it was kind of to be expected that she did, but I can kind of just trade flash for flash, and I should be able to pick her up, which I did, so that's very good. Let me just clean this out. I'll do my wolves here as well, and then I'll just recall. I'm gonna do this recall, go into an instant bot lane gank, and then I'll have my jungle clear basically set up to go the other direction, I think. And gonna be the move because i do definitely want to be punishing timo a little bit smite this again and just recall here 
Got a lot of gold. One camp away from six. Going for the four drinker. Good. Pick up all the attack damage I can. Oh, okay. My team is dead. Un unfortunate. Uh, they got one kill, I suppose, on the 80 carry. It's decent, but uh, they're going to lose out on a lot of farm here. I have no idea if Soraka's going to be able to survive. No, not with that pathing. The only way she lives is if she would able to get into this direction, which she didn't. Would be interesting to see if they go for the dragon or not. Ward it. not gonna go for this that is unfortunate my bot lane needs to be playing a little bit safer i would imagine but it's it's all good i'll finish with e here i'm just gonna get my level six here now get the evolve in that situation i just kind of wanted to walk towards the play because right there if i'm if i can be there for backup that will generally be pretty helpful oh this is not good please don't be warded please don't be warded please don't be warded okay, this is probably not warded Yo, wake up? Oh man. I just need to tell tell it. I'll get this guy. And my Talia trolled so unbelievably hard there. It, it really sucks because Talia threw her W towards the minion wave, which is really bad. If you just threw the W this way, they are doomed. They are simply doomed because then they can't dash anymore. And they do have quite a fair amount of like dash capabilities. So her throwing that on the minion wave instantly lost us that dive, which is not good. And then after that point, like, I mean, I'm just chasing out Braum. There's no point. Man, why is this thing aggroing to Leona? That's actually so annoying. Go then. Don't go for him. Go for the dragon. This guy doesn't have a smite upgrade, so I can easily yoink this. I just need to stall him for four seconds. Can I get some actual assistance, team? I'm begging of you. I mean, that's just troll on their end. Like, that should not have been legal at all. But Leona decided to go for the bot play instead of just walking to dragon. I mean, I'll still take it because I get the dragon, but I'm not happy because that's just dumb. Like, my Leona should have just straight up walked towards dragon. I don't think we would have ever had a problem there. All I needed there was just a little bit of assistance from Leona. Get the stun on Viego. Viego dies. I need to go top lane here. But, I mean, I still at least got the dragon. This guy, on the other hand, though, has seven kills, which I'm going to have to deal with. My bot lane is straight up inting, which is somewhat expected with the way they pick their stuff, but... gonna finish this off i'm probably going to walk oh my god shut up i need to wait for the wave to push anyway so through this teemo dude where the hell did this guy even go he just backed yeah okay whatever I'm not very surprised that he's doing that. He's not playing very... Not specifically smart or anything there. Seven kills on Viego is a serious problem, on the other hand. I'm gonna have to be... Uh, that's gonna be an interesting one. All of my lanes are pretty much losing. He wasn't recalled yet, though. I'm gonna go Blade of the Rune King rush. Good that he hasn't been recalling because that's delaying him, which is helpful for me right now. I should probably look at bot lane. I mean, ideally I want to kill the... Okay, I took my rep buff. Unfortunate.
Don't mess this up, I beg of you. Just finish this guy off, we should be good. We're gonna have to jump him. Please get me the kill, thank you. Oh my god, that's game winning right there, that kill. I'm dead here, but that's fine. As long as my Soraka doesn't die, I'm happy. Oh yes, that kill is massive. I, I was absolutely the one that needed to get that kill and I got it, I'm happy. Very, very good, I need mercs. Okay, that's huge. That is absolutely huge. Thank you. I hard committed to trying to get that kill, even though, like, my positioning there would have most likely killed me, which it did. But I hard committed because getting a thousand gold off Viego there is going to win me the game. Like, straight up going to win me the game. Which is absolutely massive. Like, that kill right there. Oh, my God. I'm so happy I got it because if my Leona or my Soraka or even Atalia got it, that would not have been good at all. Me getting that is absolutely perfect. I don't know if I can make it, but I can try my best. Oh, that's a Teemo's room. That's not good. Yeah, it's what it is. It's whatever. I got him. Probably. Well, is that again? How, unsurpri how unsurprising. Oh god, this is gonna be one spicy game, isn't it? I should go get this top scuttle for XP. I need to keep my consistency going here with my with my camps clear. I'm actually just gonna run straight at him. There's no ward, there's no things here right now, so... Just need my Mundo not to grief me right now, and he is unfortunately griefing me right now. Like, he should have just moved up, he would have killed Teemo. He just needed to move. One, like, he just walks up to Teemo there, just completely walks up to him, he's d the Teemo dies, no problem. I just was one hit short, basically, of getting him. I wouldn't, I didn't have the range, because I didn't have ultimate. If I had ultimate there, I would be able to chase him. Yeah, that's a missed opportunity for a kill. I'm pretty sure Dragon's gonna be gone in, like, a second here. Which is gonna suck. I'm gonna have to probably go check. Ah, damn. I wonder what he does. He's going for he's going for dragon. That is a Viego. Oh no, my God! Let, just leave me alone, man. Son of a bastard. I would have gotten that. I would have actually killed the Viego there because I could have just kited him out with ult. He's damn Lissandra had to save his life, obviously. I'm actually very worried they're in this bush. Is he doing it? I'm just gonna start it myself. I think they have to recall. I'm very scared here because I don't have smite, but I'm pretty sure Viego and Lissandra both recalled, so this is my opportunity to do it. Yep, we got it. Just leave, it's all good. He's pulling. I'm finishing off the red buff here. Jump's not up anyway. I'll move into position now. I am very low on mana, unfortunately. This sucks. Did I outplay him? I outplayed him. Woo! I'm absolutely clean with it! Oh god. That shit scared me, man. I got so scared there for a second, I'm not gonna lie. Dude. You know Viego is there, man. What are you doing? How much is it? I have 2,000 gold, that's perfect. Okay. Whew. I played that very, very cleanly. Not bad at all, actually. 
I'm not gonna wait for mana here because I can get a blue buff right now, which is huge. I need to hit level 11 soon. It's gonna be absolutely massive. I need magic resist as well. The team is very heavy on magic damage. Uh, the magic resist item of choice here is probably going to be force of nature, actually. Because it's great against that team comps. So probably that. He's going for the correct Viego build, which is kind of scary. I would have much preferred seeing him going for Divine Sunder or some, something dumb like that. Probably doing red buff. I need to hit my level 11. Level 11 is going to be absolutely huge. I'm also very strong right now, as is. Just need magic resist. I need to get a... I'm probably going to get a Maw here, actually. It's a little bit more offensive. So I should be able to do a bit more damage, which is probably necessary in this game state, because my team is pretty weak. There's the level 11, get the W evolved, my team is dying. Damn it. I just don't get a break, do I? <gasps> I trolled, I trolled, I trolled, I trolled, please don't, please don't kill me for that. Holy, for a second there, Lissandra passive I thought was an advantage to me, but it was an advantage to them. So I hard griefed that one. I'm... Ooh, do I do this? I do probably do this, right? Oh god. I don't know if I should give this to the... Uh, I'll give it to him. I think I'm gonna have to be in fights too much, and he probably dominates Teemo at this point, so I can assume that he's going to be fine on the sidelines, maybe, and then get a uh, nice Herald off when I'm, like, kind of distracting their team or something. I should give him the Herald. Just wanted to go towards the Herald and make sure I secure it. Diego has two items right now. I will destroy him in a 1v1, though. Like, he does not stand a single chance against me. Losing that top turret there is fine. Shouldn't be an issue. Uh, this is a little scary. It should be fine, actually. Double kill. Dragon in 47. Didn't go for it, okay. I've no idea where Teemo is, but Top Scuttle is spawning. I do not want to smite this because Dragon's going to spawn soon and I'd rather have my smite for that. I think him. Oh, actually, he does have teleport, so that does help. Clean this up. Let's see if he is, like, maybe right here. If I can spot Viego here, this would be absolutely massive. Hit this. No Viego. There's a Kaisa. This guy should be dead. Finish him off, focus this guy down. Run! Play safe, play on distance, do not die. Dying would be horrible there. Diego is very low right now, this is good. Unable to finish the Lissandra off there, unfortunately, but this should be a dragon. That's ah, huge. Oh god. Yo, can we hit dragon? Can I get some assistance, please, team? Don't waste my time, thank you very much. Timo is actually... Okay, he's still pushing. I need to back fast. Good. Actually, I should... Ah, I probably don't back here. I, I shouldn't back here. Timo's just gonna be AFK pushing top. The fight there was really good for us, though. Unfortunately, it wasn't able to get as many kills as I would have liked in that fight, but... Oh my god, you're joking me with this. Man, that's rough. 
Can you please not do this? Thank you. That's fine. That's her ult down. I'm gonna uh, ah. I want to get this this blue buff. It's gonna be colossal for me. Actually, I'm just gonna use that to damage the blue buff. As long as I don't grief this and give it to Teemo, we should be good. Keep keep consistent for now. It's using that mid, that's actually good breaking their map. Please, 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 please do not do this. Let me base, please, team. Please don't do this. I have so much gold, I do not want to fight there. I need armor. I'm going to go for Frozen Heart. It's going to be a, probably a good move here, so I'll do that. They have quite a bit of attack speed based stuff here. Frozen Heart is going to be very useful for that. Got the magic resist that I needed now. I might still build another magic resist item on top of this, honestly. Do we have any blue trinkets? We do not. Emo's rooms are a bit of a problem. That's huge. That's very huge, actually. Can we Baron off that? Actually, don't know if we can. We don't particularly have too much Baron damage, I would imagine. Woo! Easy. Didn't expect her to still have ult, though, but Baron? Go, 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 go. Mundo can tank this. I have reasonable Baron damage. We killed our jungler, so there's nothing they can do. Lissandra has no ult. Very good. If she didn't have ult on the Sandra, she would have just been dead outright. There was nothing she could have been able to do. These shrooms need to piss off, man. They got it, no problem. Dead. I'm gonna leave. Very good. Reset now. We should not be staying on the map right now because we're splitting our uh, capabilities to play offensive. I need to consider my last item here. I'm thinking maybe Guardian Angel in this situation would be good. But... Meh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have a think about that one. I can go like Death's Dance, for example, which would be decent as well. Just depends on how well I think I'm gonna be able to survive. I could be even more annoying and just go Spirit Visage, which is maybe something I would actually do the reason for that is because spirit fish increases all healing which means it increases soraka healing as well so that would be absolutely colossal actually permanently slowing them as much as possible damn uh, that's a pretty bad wall that she didn't turn off, which is really sad because the Talia just prevented us from doing everything. If she wouldn't have like kept the wall up there, that would have been good. She needed to turn that wall off straight away, but she didn't do that, so it's uh, that sucks for us. I'm playing for Soul no matter what. They can do whatever they want. Let me check this out. I'm gonna check the Gromp. Hopefully, it's here. Not. I'm, I'm gonna play for this soul no matter what. We have to get this. Your team has destroyed a Your team I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna... Oh, don't die, please. I beg of you, just don't die. Just don't die to them. That's all I ask for. All I beg, please, just do not die. They need to cut him off here. They should be walking in towards this side to cut off their uh, Viego from getting... Okay, Viego's not going to get here. That's perfectly acceptable then. Huge. Let's go. 
Pick up the red buff here as well. We got the mountain soul, which is absolutely massive. I'm strongly considering this uh, this spirit visage right now because of Soraka on my team. I would never go for spirit visage here now if I didn't have the Soraka on my team that could ha increase my healing in massive capacities. I yeah, I'm gonna go sp maybe spirit. I don't know yet. I really am unsure right now. I can go either Death's Dance or Spirit Visage. Both would be good. But I think because of the Soraka, the Death's Dance is worse than the Spirit Visage. What I think. But on the other hand, Death's Dance does give me a bit more damage. So, you know, a little bit of a uh, I don't know situation. Lost Evolve coming up soon enough. Don't have to recall for anything necessarily, so I can just stay on the map for now. Mm. The thing with Spirit Visage, it will be more team reliant, but the Kai'Sa, the Lissandra, and the Teemo will do a lot less damage to me. I'm pretty sure Braum is mostly magic damage as well, so it makes even more sense. Mid is just dumb. It's just... We have nothing to gain here, so we should play, be playing for bot. No, oh god. I'm gonna focus the Teemo down so he's just dead out of the side because he split up for the team and then we just walk in, jump in, hit the W, finish him off. Hit the W again. Oh, I couldn't get the Q on him. Get the... Good. Very solid, man. Very good. There you go. Pop diff, he says. Right. So, yeah. I mean, again, Death's Dance, Spirit of Visions. I probably would have committed to the Death's Dance because it's a little bit more of a my influence type of play. And then that would be full build. But that's it for Ka. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button below. I also went quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from in the future, hit the subscribe button as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 26.5k damage, which is the most on my team by a good margin here. Enemy team did a uh, quite uh, quite good amount of damage, but I mean, yeah, they got the hit Mundo for free for a while as well, I think, which helps them out. True damage at 950, damage to objectives at 34k. Which is a very colossal advantage such as jungler, especially considering Viego was quite fed. He only has 6k damage to objectives, which is extremely poor. Like, you can't be that far ahead and then, like, get outdone by the enemy jungler this much on objective damage. He had, like, 7 kills at some point, right? Like, 7-0, and he just, like, I just won because I actually did the dragons correctly and stuff. So, yeah. Healing done at 21.6k. I actually did more healing than Soraka. Nice. Damage taken at 36k here. I have the most damage done and the most damage taken by a good margin. It's just classic Ka, honestly, Bruiser Ka. Self-mitigated at 30k. And then for the runes, Conqueror healed me for 370, but that's less relevant because you obviously take the adaptive damage into account here. A triumph for 1500 HP and 500 gold. Last stand only did 535 bonus damage. You can easily switch it to a coup de gras. However, I'd rather have the impactful bonus damage of 11% when fights get close. So if you there is like a close fight, especially early game, if there's a clo close fight and you get low HP and having the 11% damage increase from last stand, I actually prefer that over having the 8% uh, execute damage because it's more impactful in fights. Because generally when you're going to kill somebody below 40% HP, especially playing Ka, who has quite a good amount of burst damage, you're going to get the kill anyway. So the 8% damage at that point doesn't matter too much. Whereas an 11% damage increase when you're low HP trying to 1v1 somebody is more impactful overall. But uh, yeah, that's it for Ka.